What's going on, fam? This is your boy Raphael, and I got my boy Randy here with me. What's going on, my bad boy family? All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Guys, if you guys love Chicago. 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 <laughs> go ahead and hit that like button for us because on this video, we're going to be doing your the inspiration. You're the inspiration. Actually, this song came out around 1984. Okay. Uh, actually, I graduated in 1984. 1985, I think it hit like number three in, in the U.S. And the song was literally playing everywhere. It's oh, really? a, it's a wow. love song. I think you're going to really, really okay. enjoy this song. It's all about love to the end of okay, time. I, to me, it sounds like a Broadway show. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not. Yeah, you, well, you know there is Chicago, a uh, I mean, I Chicago, Chicago. Band, yeah, so. but no, this is actually the group Chicago, and uh, this song they song was very, very inspirational. I think you really, really like it. So, all right, well, I'm excited to hear this. So, if you're ready, I know you guys are ready. Let's get into this video. Ooh, hey, little gangsters. <laughs> Okay. Very high voice, yeah. Kind of love to last forever. Yeah, you definitely want it to last forever. <laughs> and I want you here with me. From tonight <laughs> until the end of time. You should know. Digging this instrumental. Yes. Better play with a comfortable seat. <laughs> I literally thought those other guys were at the band. <laughs> Some passionate love here. From tonight until the end of time, you should know to now everywhere I go. No, don't go. Always yes. on my mind, you in my heart, in my soul. Better show that chest. <laughs> Oh, he got Prince. You listen to Princess Diana. Look at that. <laughs> We're not listening, reading. Yeah, you a little thug in his love. <laughs> what you say? 
That was Chicago with You're the Inspiration. You're the Inspiration. I really, I really like that. That was really dope. You know, this is the type of song, even if, if, even if you're not in love, it makes you in love with love <laughs> yeah. itself. You know, if you're down, it's going to lift you up. I feel like the little gangster in me wanted some love after that. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's you know, it's just an amazingly written song. Yeah. The lead singer, just a high voice, yeah. but just... The way his voice just moved over those 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 oh, yeah. those instrumentations. You're the inspiration. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> but it, it was just so beautiful, you know. And I especially like, you know, I love it when he says right here. He says, "You're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. You bring feeling to my life. Yeah. You're the inspiration. I want to have you near me. I want to have you hear me yes. saying." No one needs you more than I need yeah, you. I definitely need that for 2021. <laughs> you know, it, it was crazy about this with love. Sometimes you can love somebody, but then you go through the the issues of life, the, the get yeah. mad at each other. So you make up to break up to love, yeah, to make that. up to break up to <laughs> love. <on> stage. <laughs> and if there's anything wrong, you're mad, just put this song on. Yeah. It just make you fall back all in love. So what do, you, what do you think people nowadays are just falling out of love? I mean, what is it? What's going on? Well, what, what is going on? Please, if you guys know, leave a comment down below. <laughs> well, I, I think the, uh, people are looking for meaning, but they're they're looking to money. They're look, looking to <laughs> the luxury of life, and they feel that that's what's making them happy. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's not what making them happy. I mean, we were put here to commune together. Oh, yeah. okay. And and God gave us love, so I I can see that. Uh, I mean, Adam, the whole Adam and Eve story. I mean, he was here by himself, and I'm pretty sure God was like, huh? He looks lonely. <laughs> yeah, and gave him Eve, ahead. right? There you go. So it, it's you, you know we put here to need each other, to want each other, to love each other. Yeah. You know, and, it, and it's a good feeling when you get with someone that brings inspiration to your oh, life. Oh yeah, and you guys build something together. You know, and you feel like moving forward, it makes you want to go on. It 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 becomes the 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 morning dew. You yeah. know. That makes you wake up and say, yeah, let me do this. Yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, it's like so, people find meaning into that, you know. Yeah. It's like, oh, know. yes, now I found my purpose is to be with you and yeah. live long forever and never until yeah, and I it find goes, somebody else. <laughs> you know, and, 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 and it goes so many different ways when you find purpose in life or you feel like you're with this person yeah. purposely or, or, or they would say, oh, this, this is... This is my forever person. This yeah. is, you know, the person that makes me happy yeah. all the time. Even when they make me mad, yeah. I'm still happy that they're there. So yeah. it's definitely a beautiful uh, love song. It's, it's something that I can see played at weddings. Yeah. I remember oh, back yeah. in 1984, oh, yeah. you know, we would play this song and, and, and everybody was just joining in. You know, <laughs> again, if you were mad, it made you happy. Yeah. You know, and uh, there was some other words here I, I, I like. Says you're in my heart, in my soul. You're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. You bring feeling to my life. <laughs> I mean, this is very a deep, yeah. deep love. It is. It is. Yeah, you know, it's, it's looking beyond all the bad. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? You still love that person. You yes. feel a a soul tie yeah. to that person. No matter what they do, you still love them. Yeah. So it's it's a beautiful thing. You know. Um, Unfortunately, we live in a time now where people get married, <laughs> they get divorced, married, divorced, married, oh, man, divorced. How many times have I heard that? Nobody wants to just let's fight. Yeah. Let's fight, but let's make it through. So, what to make a successful relationship that will last at least a decade now? <laughs> to me, now, to me, yeah. I believe, and I don't know how y'all might feel about it, but I believe if you put God first in it. Mm, yeah, that's true. That's you so know, true. because you're not going to always feel happy or the other person not going to always make you happy. What? So you're telling me that puppy love stays, goes no. away after it, the it, first it, it goes, couple it goes away. of months? <laughs> it goes away. You know, true happiness comes through God, comes through Christ. That's true. That's so you know, true. it helps you to understand we all have flaws. Yeah. We have issues. I'm going to make you mad, but I still love you. But it's God is like the glue that brings love together yeah. to me. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. You know, so that's what I would say. You know, um, you know, and I've heard a lot of things like this. I don't know if you have heard, you know, people will be together for a long time mm -hmm. and then they'll say, man, I never knew that person. What? Like, mm -hmm. wait, 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 what? Why? You like, know, how, do, how, how does that even happen? Like, you've been together for X amount of years and you still say, I never knew that person. Like, <laughs> what? Like, I don't yeah. get it. I think what happens after people have been together so long, so long, and then something happens, maybe there was infidelity. Mm. 
You know, maybe they did something so painful that they never thought that that person would ever do. And they're like, oh my God, I just want a divorce. I, re I don't know who this person is. Mm -hmm. They just grew apart. You know, I don't know who this other person is. Yeah. So, and I think that's what happens in breakups. And, you know, you do something that was out of the ordinary and now I don't look at you the same. Yeah. You know. So in, in order for, uh, for me to have a longevity in love, you would say the secret to it is God. Yeah, yeah, because God is so. There's God no other love. answer, that, but but that God, yeah, because God, <laughs> God's love can make you love your enemies. Ah, mm. oh, well, well, yeah, wow, that's deep. Yeah. That's deep, brother. Yeah. It's very. His but God's love is deep. So, you know, if we have the right type of God love toward people, yeah, then maybe you would see maybe less divorce. I can truly believe that. You know, um, I found in my situation is. I try to find love in people. And so when I've done that, it's backfired against me and, you know, been heartbroken many times. But when I started switching that around and finding God's love first, it's been different. It's different. It's, a, it's like a, a piece that I, I could not explain. And I feel, you know, somewhat of a completeness, you know, because I, like you said, I mean, once you find that love in God, then you can love everybody else yeah because like you like your prime example which you said is like you know you can love your enemies like that's pretty deep mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's deep you know you know god's love help us to recognize that he's perfect and we're not perfect true so we're going to make mistakes oh yeah we're, we're going to make mistakes but we're going to take it to god who is a perfect god yeah you know and trust him that he can make it out no matter what happens in the relationship god yeah. we can work this thing out yeah Okay. We can work this thing out, you know, and God teaches us how to do that. So um, we just have to understand that that people make mistakes. We oh, have yeah. flaws. We have yeah. issues. Yeah. None you of know? us is perfect. Even None us being us friends. I'm going to make you mad. Sometimes yeah. I make you mad, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah, most definitely, you know, sometimes I, I you it's know, not you, always yeah. it's not always like la we're not always laughing. <laughs> sometimes yeah. I'm be like, yeah, <laughs> you know, but you still have a Beat love of the person. You still want to <laughs> yeah. work together. Yeah. You know, so you're so gonna you're gonna go through those type things in life. You're yeah. gonna go get through your ups and downs. It's not always gonna be like a like the movies be telling you, like the whole love love stories until the end of time, and it's always gonna be happy and you know all this stuff. Nah, it's not like that. Yeah, like you're gonna go through some trials and tribulation. But I think at the end of the day, you yeah, whatever whoever's in relationship with each other, you have to work things out. You have and, to, and uh, you know, you just grow from there. You know, uh, because if not, then you're always gonna have those. Um, say for example, if this relationship didn't work well, if you go to the next one, and you haven't worked that out. Well, that's gonna happen again, and you know you're gonna end up whatever happened in the previous relationship is gonna end up going to the next relationship. Then you you know you know you end up like divorcing again. Yeah, it becomes it becomes a cycle. Yeah, it's a cycle. Yeah, you go a cycle. And, and I look at life like this. You know, Christ forgave me mm. and gave me a second chance. The ultimate love. So I can forgive. Ultimate. Someone, if they hurt me really, yeah. really bad, yeah, I, I can forgive you because yeah. I see what Christ is. I can, I can definitely see that. I mean, I, I, I implemented that in my, in myself. You know, I mean, if God died for me, you know, and sacrificed his, his whole, his whole being, you know, I need to do the same. Yeah, and it's even funny because uh, I remember way back when this, this man had killed this lady's mom and dad, mm. right. And yeah, that's tough. <laughs> at, in the court, he still told the man that killed his family, "I forgive you." Oh yeah, it was something like that in Dallas. Yeah, sometimes like that. It, it was actually that that police officer, that lady police officer, that uh, went into his home. His 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 home shot him. You know, and I mean, he was gone because yeah. I, I, I was guessing that I guess she thought it was she her thought it was her home or yeah, whatever. She so was her she, somebody was invading. You know, blah blah blah. But anyways, I mean, it went to trial, and I think she got convicted, and she became guilty. But the brother of the of the guy that murdered was that got murdered. Mm -hmm. You know, he was in court, and you know, like yeah, you know, like he said, you know, I just because of my brother and what he taught me, you know, to forgive those people. You know, he actually in court mm -hmm. told the judge, you know, I want to forgive her and give give her a hug. You know, for my brother, because mm -hmm. he would—that's what he would want. That was a—that was, that was an amazing story. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. not that what she did wasn't wrong. Yeah, it wasn't that he was saying, uh, "I'm just gonna forget about it." Yeah. You know, but he was just simply saying, "I have to release myself." Yeah. 
of that. Yeah. You know, I have to release. I, I forgive you. Yeah, you got to give it into God's hands at that point. Yeah, I'm still hurt, but yeah. I forgive you. <laughs> yeah, it's, I it, don't forget, but I forgive yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, you. So really, it's just the right thing to. You got to be deeply rooted in God. You know, yeah, because that's painful. For, yeah, it's so painful. You know, yeah. having you know your family member get shot and you know and he's gone and now you're alone and but all those words and mentorship that he provided you know his brother i mean that's that's the foundation that he needed to keep pushing and keep persevering mm -hmm. and see forgiveness is a work in process of course i can say i forgive you and every day i'm still having to work those words out of my life and yeah. keep reminding myself i forgive you yeah i forgive you hurt me but I forgive you. I forgive, I forgive you. I forgive because you. I, I forgive all of you. <laughs> yes, I, I have to take the power out of that and yeah. just I gotta forgive. That's you. good. That's good. That's good to hear. That's good to hear, uh, and especially in these times of 2021, because I hear a lot of breakups that is it's, it's harsh. It's harsh. <laughs> I think they just need to hear this song by Chicago. Yes, you're my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, y'all know I am definitely yes. Jenna! Chicago to You're my boys, Chicago. There you go. All right, guys. Well, if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that like button, the subscribe button, and also that bell. Don't forget that bell, guys. That way you will be notified when another dope video like this will be coming out. And if you are new to this channel, I'm talking to you. Yes, you. You're right there sitting in the computer watching us. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and like and share and tell yeah. your friends about our channel. Yeah. All right, and join the, the fam. Yeah, join the family. We have a lot of fun here. Yes, and help us reach our 5K yes. subscriber goal. So. Yes, and if you like these these songs by Chicago yeah. and one of your boys, Chicago, just comment down below right now. And to our family, we right love now. you as well. And and if y'all want to hear any any other songs, just let us know. We will get them on, and we're just so grateful to be able to come into your households and bring you just a little bit of joy. There you go. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for tuning in on this video. And once again. We are the Bad Boys of Texas!